Hello everybody. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a PDF from a PowerPoint presentation. You would probably want to do this if you had no effects, no transition effects between your slides um, and also to reduce file size. Some PowerPoints can be horrendously large. Anyway, normally you would go up here to File, Print and you would hit your PDF printer. I have three of them, uh, Qt PDF, Microsoft, uh, it doesn't matter which one, the result is going to be the same and that is with a nasty white border at the top and bottom. So how can you get around not having the white border? Well there is another way to do it and that is to hit Save As. So if you change your file type up here to PDF, uh, you can actually go ahead and get rid of that white border and I'll demonstrate this now. So here we have the uh, print as PDF and as you know we have the white borders top and bottom which are not ideal. Uh, we also, I did also just now demonstrate how to save as a PDF. It actually completely eliminates the top and bottom white border. And there was another way which was also export as a PDF and again it achieves the exact same result. However, I don't know if you noticed but there is an issue and that is that my last slide had these lovely soft edges and we have lost that picture effect uh, during the conversion to PDF. Okay, but I did manage to achieve it as a PDF. What you first need to do is file, export, and in here you can actually go to change file type. So the one that I selected was uh, JPEG. Okay, so I have tried JPEG and we have, and it resulted in the smallest file size. Then I tried bitmap and then TIFF as well as PNG. The best example was the JPEG and uh, the, the lowest file size. And this is because JPEG is known for its ability to compress images without loss of quality. You may ask me, how did we get these four JPEG images into a PDF? There is a way to do it. I, I actually use uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro and I have a paid version of it. And, uh, and this is how you, you would combine your files. So you would you just go up here to the menu and combine files and it asks you where they are and you go ahead and add them and combine them all. So they're pretty good. I get rid of my white borders. I retain the ability to have soft images. If I zoom in, it's quite good quality. Uh, pending you're not displaying it on some billboard, uh, you'll be quite happy with the result of that. So my PowerPoint is 1426 kilobytes and as you can see here the binder one is less than half of that and it's very transportable at 620 kilobytes. Okay I hope that's helped. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Office Expert so you can receive more tips and tricks. Thanks for listening. See you next time.